Vic, this is terribly sad. We have confirmed the 15-year-old was a student at Carver Votech High School. We talked to witnesses who heard these gunshots. Commissioner Michael Harrison called it a tragedy. It makes me want to cry because it was really sad. I mean, these young kids are getting shot down in young age, and it's, it's unfathomable. 15-year-old Braylon Gannon was shot in the head over and over again in this alley in the 2400 block of West Lafayette Avenue early Saturday morning. One of at least eight people shot in Baltimore since Friday. Gannon is now one of Baltimore's youngest homicide victims in an especially violent year. Oh, I heard the gunshots. I heard one shot, and then I heard two more shots. And really, I heard the individual run up the alley. Dolores has lived in this neighborhood her entire life. Have things gotten better or worse? Worse. Do you feel safe? No. No. I just come out and then I go back in. I don't even come out and walk around anymore. I used to think this was the safest neighborhood in the city because everyone here is still close. We always look out for one another, but it's not safe anywhere. There's been an outpouring of grief online for Gannon, but so far no arrests have been made in the 15-year-old's killing. Why did the other person feel like they could just kill him and be okay with that? What did that boy do so bad? that you had to kill him, take his life. Doesn't seem like there's any respect for life. None at all. I know his family hurts. It's just sad. It hurts everyone to know someone that young was shot down and, and left an alley to die. Now, the commissioner urged people in that community to come forward with tips to close this case. Baltimore police say that since Friday, they have made 10 arrests for violent crimes in the city and issued nine warrants. Reporting live at headquarters, Mike Halgren, WJZ.